Let me talk about logistic regression model building using SAS. Logistic regression models are also called logistic regression model building is also called credit scoring. So I'm going to talk what it is and I'm going to talk what are the steps of model building. So what is logistic regression model building? Let's take a scenario. Scenario is that you have set of accounts which are open between January 12 to March 12 and you have lot of their behavior as of account opening date. So for example, number of times delinquent in past 12 months with other banks. So it is roughly January 11 to December 11 performance for the account which are open in January 12. For the account which are open in March 12, it will be April, it will be actually March 11 to February 12 performance. So you have total outstanding on loan products at the time of account opening, maximum utilization in past 12 months at the time of account opening. So you have a lot of behaviors. And we have after 24 months, you are taking a look how many of them actually became defaulter, which are shown as red and how many of them are actually good. So you have these independent variables and this is the dependent variable. Dependent variable is actually binary 0 1 and these are a lot of independent variables. Now what is logistic regression modeling? In reality, it is all about you are selecting based 5 to 15 independent variable from the list of huge number of variables and then you are developing an equation like this where you are taking log probability of 1 divided by 1 minus probability of uh, 1 means like probability of 0 so it's actually odds log probability of 1 by probability of 0 then here you have intercept and here x y is independent variable and b i is the coefficient of independent variable so you have if you have taken n independent variable that's how it will come and ultimately you will develop an equation like this where you know it is essentially you are calculating probability of one now the it looks very simple but if you go in next step and you think of how you have decided 24 month itself you know that will require you to do something like vintage analysis Vintage analysis actually goes through and what it does, it actually takes all the accounts which are open and then it sees how, how much its performance after three months, after six months, after nine months. And if you see what it has done, it has taken accounts open in Q4 2010, Q2 2011, Q4 2011, Q4 2012 and seen how they have behaved after three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. And based on that, you decide that, okay, you'll be going 24 months, 27 months, 18 months and all those things. The idea is that you will select the short duration which captures the performance till it becomes stable. Next, you know, how do you select five to 15 variables? This itself is a process. And for this process, what you do, the first step is actually you have to get a feel of the data. That, you know, how do you get a feel of the data? Like the very way the doctor gets a feel of the patient, you know, as a modeler, you need to get a feel of the data. And there are a lot of statistical procedure like contents, proc print, proc frac, proc univariate, which actually, you know, gives you a lot of output. What you need to understand the SAS procedure in itself are huge amount of automation. They produces lot of statistics. For example, if you talk of PROC univariate, you know, in this whole thing, if you think of, you are just filling two, two things. What is the name of the data set? And what is the name of the variables for which you want to run statistics? And then what it does? It produces central tendencies, percentile, skewness, you know, kurtosis, then it will produce you box plot, it will produce you stem and leaf, it will produce you normal probability plot. See, what you need to understand, writing SAS code is, you know, nothing. It's not a big deal. What is important, that you need to understand and have a good interpretation of SAS output. For which, you know, for example, like why you're getting star here, 
why are you getting plus sign here you know what is the meaning of like center line here what is the meaning of you know those two things that you are seeing in the box plot how do you use this to understand the outlier all those things you know requires good business sense good knowledge of statistics and a serious amount of effort you need to put a serious amount of under effort to get a feel of the data when you get a feel of the data when you, then you know which are the variable which you can take and which are the variable you should not be taking so once you have some clarity then you proceed to the next step and then you select important categorical variable when i'm saying categorical it means character variable as well as those numeric variable which has only few distinct categories and actually the meaning is not numeric in nature then you create indicator variable based on important categorical variable this again like you know how will you create indicator variable is a process so that you create minimum number of independent indicator variable and still that set sufficient su that is sufficient to capture the distinct behaviors of the independent categorical variable then you know you create you know important numeric variable for these things you need to know chi square info value step by regression the whole output how it is going how it is selecting variable how it is rejecting fisher's linear discriminant function so these are the things some of the things that is required for you to do these things after that you remove multicollinearity and for which again you need to understand the vif the principal component the factor loading all these things using these things you remove multicollinearity in a scientific way and then trust me the next thing comes the model validation you select variable which are giving you good coefficient stability in all those things coefficient stability is all about you are developing a model on development data and then you are developing using the same set of variables and same treatment on the validation data usually you take out of time data for the validation data and if the coefficients are having same or similar value then you call it a like the the model is you know the coefficient stability is there so once you the, do all these things then you come to know the strength of the model for which you need to know log likelihood ratio the aic all those things you know for and then what is the concordance somers d statistics what is the ks what is the gini all those things this these things explains you the strength of the model so that's how you follow the steps so if you ask me the steps is all about you design you know you design the like first of all the dependent variable that okay like how will you select the performance window after that you get a feel of the data by which you select important uh, some you reject some of the variable they again you follow a process by which you select important categorical and numeric variable and then you select final 5 to 15 variable which has which are better in all these things i have put a course on udemy on all those things now the course on udemy on these things has theory has sas command and has deep dive into sas output like how it has been computed many times i have taken that into excel and calculated that and shown it to you then there is an excel data for model development and what i have done i have gone and explained you the model development steps in detail then i have worked on this data step by step and have created a document which contains the steps of sas uh, which has been used an excel document which contains step by step sas output the course outline you can take a close look you can pause the video and can take a close look at the course content these are the course content that you will see on the udemy you can pause and take a look now how do you find the course on udemy you need to go visit udemy.com you need to search logistic and then you need to look for course by me let me show you how i am doing it so i am going on uh, let's say you know 
udemy.com let me show you udemy.com and then after going here I will search here logistic once you have searched logistic look for my course this is the my course here logistic regression and if you go to this course what you will find the all the things that I am talking here are available step by step course content tips for the con then you know like section outline everything is in you know in detail available here and uh, you can take a look at the preview also in some cases like you know which will explain you what it is for example if you have to get a stem and leaf you click here it will show you the how it is going to play then also like uh, you know how will you find let me just show you what it is let me talk about what are the content that you will see on the logistic you will find some extensive 74 videos to explain the concepts these will explain you the concepts and there are some videos which will explain you the contents that okay what you can expect in this particular section and how you are flowing from one section to another then you have PDF for all the contents are available for download if you go here you know this is stem and leaf if you go and uh, you can play it here it will play and show it to you anyway uh, let me just let me just uh, go and show you you know you have all the PDFs that are part of the course are available for download so everything that I have explained is available in PDF form for download then uh, you have 10 videos which are especially for data workout so if you go in this course what you will see you know after session 4 I have gone into the data workout and you will see model data workout 0 to you know your model data workout 0 1 let me just show you there is model data workout 0 1 also this model data workout 0 1 there is preamble to the data workout which explains you what is this data and what you how you should look at SAS and all those things now when you're clicking on this you know anywhere you know like as a student at the right side you'll see the section where you can go and actually download Excel and Word document which has been used in this particular section so that's how you find the Excel or SAS code used in this part in each of the section so this should help you to understand the flow of the logistic regression course I will recommend uh, take a look at the course and try to read it thank you